thrum out of Babylon, hobby horses home, the dumb sky rhinoceros glum, watch the courses of the breakers rocking horses, and the horses Lady Venus on the settee of the horsehair sea, where Lord Tennyson in laurels wrote a Gloria free, in a borealic iceberg in Victoria, she knew Prince Arthur's tall memorial, took the colours of the floral and the borealic iceberg, floating on they see, you were risen Madame Venus for whose sake from far came the fat and zebra emperor from Zanzibar, where like golden bookies lay for Asia, Africa, cause they all laid before that shady lady by the fibroid shah. <laughs> Cracker start as any water butt came, stood with the backers worth of drinking the black tar grapes blood, plucked among the tart and leafage by the furry windows, brief age could not wither like a squirrel with a gold star nut. We Victoria sitting shocked upon the rocking horse of a way, said to the laureate, this mix of course is as sharp as any nix, the blacker deeper than the drinks are quite as hot as any hot and tot without drink more. For the mix said she, and the drinks you can see are hot as any hot and tot and not good for me. of the springing bohe, Jemima, Jocasta, Dinah, and Deb walked with their father, Sir Joshua Jeb, an Admiral Red, whose only notion, a butterfly poised on a pink-tailed ocean, is of the Perut Sea, whose swell breaks on the flowerless rocks of hell. Under the thin trees, Deb and Dinah, Jemima, Jocasta walked, and finer their black hair seemed flat sleek to see than the young leaves of the springing bohe. Their cheeks were like nutmeg flowers when swells the rain into foolish silver bells. They said, if the door you would own slam, or if papa you would once say damn, instead of merely roaring a vast, or boldly invoking the mercy of last. We should now stand in the street of hell, watching siesta shutters that fell with a noise like amber softly sliding, our moonlight glance through these gliding would see at her table preened and set Mirina sitting at her toilette with eyelids closed as soft as the breeze that flows from gold flowers on the incense trees The Admiral said, you could never call. I assure you, it would not do at all. She gets down from table without saying please, forgets her prayers and to cross her T's. In short, her scandalous reputation has shocked the whole of the hellish nation. And every turban she was re, with whom we should sip our black bohe, would stretch out her simian fingers thin to scratch you, my dears, like a mandolin. For hell is just as properly proper as Greenwich, or as Bath or Joppa. <laughs> What are you staring at, mariner man? Wrinkled as sea sand and old as the sea. Those trains will run over their tails if they can. Snorting and sporting like porpoises, flee! The burly, the whirly gig wheels of the train, as round as the world and as large again, running half the way over to Babylon, down through fields of clover to gay Troy town, a puffing their smoke, as grey as the curl on my forehead, as wrinkled as sands of the sea. But what can that matter to you, my girl, and what can that matter to me? Long 
long steel grass, the white soldiers pass, the light is braying like an ass. See the tall Spanish jade, with hair black as nightshade, worn as a cockade. Flee her eyes, Gasconade, and her gowns parade, as stiff as a brigade. Tee hee! The hard and braying light is zebraed black and white. It will take away the slight and free. Tinge of the mouth organ sound. Oyster stall notes oozing round her bunches as they sweep the ground. The trumpet and the drum and the martial corn it come to make the people dumb. But we won't wait for sly foot night, moonlight watered, milk white bright, to make clear the declaration of our Paphian vocation beside the castaneted sea. Where stalks il capitaneo, swaggered braggadocio, sword and mustachio, he is green as a casada, and his hair is an armada. To the jade, come kiss me harder, he called across the battlements as she. Heard our voices thin and shrill as the steely grasses thrill, or the sound of the onika when the polka has the pika in the palace of the Queen Chinese. of the heat, Dolores, Ines, Manucha, Isabel, Lucha, mock time that flies. Lovely bird, will you stay and sing? Flirting your sheened wing, peck with your beak and cling to our balconies. They flirt their fans, flaunting. Oh, silence enchanting as music, then slanting their eyes. Like gilded or emerald grapes, they take mantillas, capes, hiding their simian shapes. Sighs, each lady, our spadil is done. Dance the quadrille from hell's cars to serve Surprise their siesta. Through gilded trellises of the heat, spangles pelt down through the tangles of bellflowers. Each dangles her castanets. Shutters fall while the heat mutters with sounds like a mandolin or tinkled tambourine. Ladies, time dies. When dawn passed, arrived at the seaside, where the donkeys hide tide braid. He saw the bandy Tojo in a black cape, whose slack shape waved like the sea. See, it is wrote a treatise, noting wheat is silver like the sea. The lovely cheat is sweet as Fomo wrote his notices that she will steal the pink luggage like Babel before the League of Nations grew. So Joe put the luggage and the label in the pocket of Flo the kangaroo. Through trees like rich hotels that bode of dreamless east fed she, carrying the load and goading the road through the marine scene to the sea. Don't escape for the road is eloping, with your luggage so heavy and large. You must follow and leave your moping, right by guidance and charge. When dawn passed, Quito returned from the road's end, where vanilla-coloured ladies ride. From Sevilla, his mantilla bride and young friend were forgetting their mentor and guide. 
for the lady and her friend from the Duque in the very shady trees upon the sand were plucking a white satin bouquet of foam while the sand's brassy band blared in the wind. Don Pesquito hid where the leaves drip with sweet but a word stung him like a mosquito for what they hear they repeat The room of the palace, black Mrs. Behemoth gave way to wrath and the wildest malice, cried Mrs. Behemoth, come, 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 court lady, doomed like a moth through palace room shady. The candle flame seemed a yellow pompion, sharp as a scorpion, Nobody came, only a bugbear air unkind that Budford Papoose, the young spring wind, blew out the candle. Where is it gone? To flat coromandel rolling on. Where the satyrs are chattering, nymphs with their flattering glimpse of the forest in halves, all the beauty of marrow and cucumber narrow, and Ceres will join in the dance. Where the satyrs can flatter the flat leaf fruit and the girth king green and the marrow, the queen Venus, Silenus will set her the Venus, the good and the cucumber narrow. See, like palaces hid in the lake, they shake those greenhouses shot by her arrow narrow. The gardener seizes the pieces like creases for gilding the potting shed barrow. There, the rat dish roots and the strawberry fruits fill the nymphs' high boots in the glade, trampling and sopping the circus, petrucas and tercus, bacoviax hid in the shade. Where in the haycocks the country nymphs gay fox wear gowns that are looped over bright yellow petticoats, gaiters of leather and pheasant's tail feathers, his straw hath bewildering many a leathern bat. There the hay make cowers and whines in showers, the dew in the dotskin bright flowers. Pumpkin and marrow and cucumber narrow have grown through the spangled June hours. Melons as dark as caves have for their fountain waste thick as gold honey, and wrinkled as dark as pan, or old Silenus, yet useful as Venus are goods, and the wrinkled fix whence all the jewels ran. Said Queen Venus, Silenus will settle between us, the nymph's disobedience for stall, with my bow and my quiver each fresh evil liver, for I don't understand it at all. and Alice, oh the pretty lasses with their mouths like a callus and their hair a golden palace, through my heart like a lovely wind they blow. Though I am black and not comely, though I am black as the darkest trees, I 
have swarms of gold that will fly like honeybees by the rivers of the sun I will feed my words until they skip like those fleeced lambs the waterfalls and the rivers old rams then for all my like asses ears hung on the trees when last we wandered and squandered joy here now my dear your husband will listen for these whispers these tears for joy's beer Goblin, the bob-tailed hob, said, "It is time I began to rob for strawberries. Bob hobnob with the pearls of cream, like the curls of the dairy girls, and flush with the heat and fruitish ripe are the gowns of the maids who dance to the pipe. Chase a maid, she's afraid." Go gather a bob cherry kiss from a tree, but don't. I pray thee, come bothering me," she said, as she fled. The snouted satyrs drink clouted cream 'neath the chestnut trees, as thick as a dream. So I went and lent, where none but the doatish coatish wind nuzzled my hand for what it could find as it neighed. I said. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, I say. You'll tumble my strawberries into the hay. These snow mounds of silver that be the spring has sucked his sweetness from. I will bring with fair-haired plants and with apples chill for the great god Pan's high altar. I'll spill not one. So in fun, we rolled on the grass and began to run. Chasing that gaudy satyr, the sun over the haycocks away we ran, crying, "Here be berries as sunburnt as pan." But Silenus has seen us. He runs like the rough satyr sun. Come away! La 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 la! See me 
dance the polka, said Mr. White like a bear, with my top hat and my whiskers that tra la 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 trap the fair. Where the waves seem chiming hay cocks, I dance the polka. There stand Venus children in their gay frocks, maroon and marine and stare. You see me fire my pistol through the distance blue as my coat, like Wellington Bar and the Marquis of Bristol, Busby great trees float, while the wheezing hurdy gurdy of the marine wind blows me to the tune of Annie Rooney sturdy. Over the sheets of the sea, and bright as a seedsman's packet, with zinnias, candy tufts, chill, is Mrs. Marigold's jacket as she gapes at the indoor still, where at dawn in the box of the sailor, blue as the decks of the sea, Nelson awoke, crowed like the cocks, then back to the dust sank he, and Robinson Crusoe, Rousseau, the bright and foxy beer, but he finds fresh isles and a negress smiles, the foxy, doxy dear. As they watch me dance the polka, said Mr. White like a bear, in my top hat and my whiskers that tra la 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 trap the fair. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. Cried the navy blue ghost of Mr. Bellacre, the allegro negro cocktail shaker. Why did the cock crow? Why am I lost down the endless road to infinity tossed? The tropical leaves are whispering white as water. I race the wind in my flight down the promenade, edging the far off sand is the foam of the siren's metropole and grand. As I raced through the leaves as white as water, my ghost flowed over a nursemaid, caught her, and there I saw the long grass weep where the guinea fowl plumaged houses sleep, and the sweet Ring doves of curded milk. Watch the infanta's gown of silk in the ghost room tall where the governante whispers slyly, fading and dante. In at the window. His flat and face like the moon saw she, rhinoceros black, yet flowing like the sea. Lies beyond the sea, the onk de sheen marine of seen horizon in hell black as a bison. See the tall black arbor on the sofa in the alga moat, his bell rope, moustache clear as a great bell. Waves in eighty and eighty bustles come, late with tambourines of rustling foam. They answer to the names of ancient dames and shames and only call horizons their home. Cove the wheeze Chinese as these black armoured bees to dance the breeze is seeking for horizons wide for her horizons. In her wide vermilion pavilion by the seaside, the doors clang open and hide where the wind died. Nothing but the princess cockatrice lean, dancing a caprice to the wind's tambourine. and lily, lazy and silly, walk by the shore of the one grassy sea, talking once more neath a swan-bosomed tree. Rose castles, two rails, those bustles, where swells each foam bell of ermine, they roam and determine what fashions have been and what fashions will be, what tartan leaves born, what crinolines worn. Queen Feet 
Pelitis, Pelissis of Tarletine, blue like the thin padded leaves that the castle crags grew, or Velour da Fronde on the water god's land, her hair seemed gold trees on the honeysel sand, when the thickest gold spangles on deep water scene were like twanging guitar and like cold mandolin, and the nymphs of great caves with hair like gold waves of Venus wore Tarletine. Louise and Charlottine bore as daughters, and the nymphs of deep waters, the nymph Calioli, Brise the Ondine, were plaided Victoria and thin Clementine like the crinolined waterfall. Wood nymphs wear bonnets, shawls elegant, parasols floating are seen. The Amazons wear balzarine of John Quill beside the blonde lace of the deep falling rill. Through glades like a nun, they run from and shun the enormous and gold rayed rustling sun. And the nymphs of the fountains descend from the mountains like elegant willows on their deep barouche pillows. In Kashmir, Alvanda, Barrage, Isabel, like bells of bright water from clearest wood well, are elegant. Favoring bonnets of blonde, the stars in their apiaries, sylphs in their aviaries, seeing them spangle these, and the sylphs fond from their aviaries fanned with each long fluid hand, the Montes Espanol mimic the waterfalls over the long and the lightsome. Daisy and Lily, lazy and silly, walk by the shore of the one grassy sea, talking once more neath the swan-bosomed tree. Rose castles, two rails, those bustles, more rails of the shade in their train follow. Ladies, how vain hollow. Gone is the sweet swallow. Gone, Philomel. We bear velvet cream, green and baby. Small leaves seem, each stream, horses' tails that swish, and the chimes remind us of sweet birds singing, like the jangling bells on rose trees ringing. Man must say farewell to parents now. And to William Tell and Mrs. Cow, man must say farewells to storks and bets and to roses' bells and statuettes, forests white and black in spring are blue with forget. Me knots and to lovers true, still the sweet bird begs and tries to cousin them by angels' eggs sold by the dozen. Gone are clouds like inns on the garden's brinks and the mountain gins. Ganny mead sells drinks while the day seem grey and his heart of ice grey as chamois or the edel vice and the mountain streams like cowbell sound tira lira drowned in the wake Gone beyond the 
forest waves while his true and fond ones seek their graves. Take a bath in Jordan, Gordon, on the Holy Sabbath on the peaceful day, said the huntsman playing on his old bagpipe, boring to death the pheasant and the snipe, boring the ptarmigan and grass for fun, boring them worse than the nine bore gun, till the flaxen leaves where the prunes are ripe heard the tartan wind a droning through the pipe, and they heard Macpherson say, Where do the waves go? What hotels hide their bustles on their gay umbrellas? And would there be room? Would there be room? Would there be room for me? There is a hotel at Ost End, cold as the wind without an end, haunted by ghostly poor relations of Bostonian conversations, like bagpipes rotting through the walls, and there the pearl ropes fall like shawls with a noise like marine waterfalls, and another little drink wouldn't do us any harm, pierces through the sabbatical calm, and that is the place for me. So do not take a bath in Jordan Gordon on the Holy Sabbath on the peaceful day, or you'll never go to heaven, Gordon McPherson, and speaking purely as a private person, that is the place, that is the place, that is the place for me. Silly and shady, longing to be a lazy lady, walked by the cupola's gables in the lake's Georgian stables. In a fairy tale like the heat intense and the mist in the woods when across the fence the children gathering strawberries are changed by the heat into negresses, though their fair hair shines there like gold head planets, Calliope, Eo, Pomona, Antiope, Echo and Cleo. Then Lily O'Grady, silly and shady, sauntered along like a lazy lady beside the waist haycocks. Her gown with tucks was a satin, the colour of shining green ducks, and her shoulder roll parasol was a great go sun or the haycock shining, but she was a negress, black as the shade that time on the brightest lady laid. Then a satyr, dog haired as trunks of trees, began to flatter, began to tease. And she ran like the nymphs with golden foot that trampled the strawberry buttercup root in the thick gold dew as bright as the mesh of dead Penope's golden flesh. Made from the music whence were born, Memphis and Thebes in the first hot morn, and ran to wake in the lake where the wolf little seemed made to wreck. And Charlatine, Adeline, round rose bubbling victory. And the other fish express a wish for mastic mantles and gowns with a swish, and bright and slight as the poses of buttercups and of roses and buds of the wildwood lilies, they chase her as frisky as fillies. The red retriever haired satyr can whine and tease her and flatter, but Lily O'Grady, silly and shady, in the deep shade is a lazy lady. Now Pomp is dead, Homer's red, Helio Garbalus lost his head, and shade is on the brightest wing, and dust forbids the birds to sing. Old Sir Falk, tall as a stork. Before the honey fruits of dawn were ripe, would walk and stalk with the gun, the red-nod coloured sun. Among the pheasant-feathered corn, the unicorn has torn, forlorn the smock-faced sheep, sit and sleep. Periwig does William and Mary weep. Sally Mary, Matty, what's the matter? Why cry? The huntsman and the red-nod coloured sun, and I sigh. Oh, the nursery maid Meg with the leg like a peg. Chase the feathered dreams like hens, and when they laid an egg in the sheepskin meadows where the serene King James would steer horse and hounds, then he from the shade of a tree picked it up a spoil to boil for nursery tea, said the mourners. In the corn tower's train fed the tall as a crane, and whistling down the feathered rain, old Noah goes again. An old owl moans with the head like a pole. Seeing the world as a bare egg laid by the feathered air, Meg would beg three of these for the nursery teas. Of Japhet, Shem and Ham she gave it underneath the trees. 
is where the boiling water, the boiling water hissed. Like the goose king's feathered daughter, feathered daughter hissed. Pot and pan and copper kettle put upon their proper metal, lest the flood, the flood, the flood begin again through these, again through these. In the hotel in hell where Proserpine first fell, blue as the gendarmerie were the waves of the sea, rocking and shocking the barmaid. Nobody comes to give him his rum, but the rim of the sky, hippopotamus glum, enhances the chances to bless with the venison of the Glotenism, crossing the bar laid with cold vegetation from pale deputations of temperance workers all signed in memoriam, hoping with glory to trip up the laureate's feet. Moving in classical meters. Like Balaclava, the lava came down from the roof, and the seas blew wooden gendarmerie took them in charge while Beelzebub roared for his lungs. 